Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be doing my first back to school DIY. And the DIY I'm going to be doing is mainly for teen girls, but I guess teen boys can do it if they want. It's just an emergency kit for school. You know you're going to be at school for like 8 to 9 hours a day. And sometimes emergencies can happen. So you need an emergency kit just to be prepared. So you just need to bring some things with you in case an emergency happens. That can be your nails will get chipped or you break a nail. Anything. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys some things to bring in your DIY emergency kit for school. I hope you guys enjoy my first back to school video and I'll see you guys in a second. But yeah, this is my last semester of college to get my associate's degree because I do go to, to a community college. I'm going to show you guys what's inside and you guys can tweak or add more things or less things. Whatever you want to do with your emergency kit for school. So be creative. So the first thing I have is just some tissues. And whenever you start back school, it's August. And sometimes it gets like cool and you're used to the hot weather. So you might get sick. I usually get sick around September through December. Just this Kleenex little pouch. And this came with, I think, like a big box of tissues. And I just kept this because it's a cute package. I just kept on filling it with tissues. So it has two little pouches. In school they have tissues, but their tissues are really like rough and would make your nose burn and hurt. I like to get the good tissues, but yeah, I think this would be a good idea. Just have a little package of Kleenexes and your emergency kits. That's the first thing. And the second thing is for teen and girls, or even preteens. Um, I always like to keep pads um, and candy liners in my purse or in my emergency kits. I use the Kotex ones. They also have pretty packaging for the pads. Like who would have thought you want pretty packaging for your pads? But I guess they make you more happy when you're on your monthly period BS. I hate being on my period. It sucks. You always want to keep a couple of pads or panty liners in your emergency kit just so you have them in case you need it because sometimes nurse won't have them or won't have the ones you like. So it's always a good idea to bring the ones that you like and that you'll feel most com comfortable in at school. The next thing I just pulled out of this emergency kit, I'm just doing, I'm just doing a random order, is these antimicrobial hand wipes. School has a lot of germs, so it's always a good idea to keep these little wipes on you. Then the next thing I have is a couple band-aids. You never know when you could get cut or bleed and you need some band-aids on hand so I would definitely recommend keeping some band-aids in your emergency kit especially for college kids this is just like a funny thing for girls this is just some kids maximum maximum speed nail glue like if you have acrylic nails on and your nail breaks off or something you can always just glue your nail back together so you're gonna be looking all ratchet at school so this is just a cute little item to have in your emergency kit the next thing you can keep in your little emergency kit for school can also go along with your nail glue you can always keep some nail polish in your emergency kit just in case your nails get chipped or you want to paint your nails if you're in lunch or on a study hall you can always keep some nail polish in your emergency kit and just in case your nails chip the next thing i have is just a comb i got a whole pack of like 10 combs from a dollar store for like a dollar or five so this is a great thing to have in your emergency kit for school boys or girls could use this so i definitely recommend having a comb or a brush in your emergency kit the next thing you'll want is also go along with something else i mentioned which is these hand wipes and i got this little hand sanitizer from bath and body and this is called bright autumn day this one smell a lot better than these wipes like these this smells so good so i definitely recommend these little bath and body hand sanitizers um the next thing i would recommend to keep in your kit is some chapstick and you don't want dry crusty nasty lips so i definitely recommend chapstick i just got the dollar chapstick and mine is in the classic strawberry so I definitely recommend you keep this chapstick in your emergency kits also. These next two little items also go in with your hair things. I will definitely keep some bobby pins. Bobby pins can work in many ways. I definitely would recommend you keep one or two bobby pins in your emergency kit just for safety and your hair um, emergencies. And the last thing I have in my emergency kit is just some cough drops. I like the Halls cough drops because they are the best kind to me. 
So I definitely recommend to have some cough drops because the weather changes and you just want to not be coughing all over everybody. I would also keep these in your little emergency back to school kit. So this is the end of my DIY back to school emergency kit video. Hope you have enjoyed and if you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Also list some back to school video ideas that you want me to film. And also let me know if you are going to be carrying an emergency kit for school and what you'll be carrying in it. Thanks so much for watching my back to school emergency kit video and I'll see you guys in my next back to school video very soon. Bye guys. Peace.